Welcome to another episode of Are Your Designs Any Good with Introducing me. Are Your Designs Any Good with Shane. In today's episode, we are going to be going over how many designs do we have? We have got 12 interesting, I want to say good, but I haven't seen them all. So 12 interesting designs. If you want to submit your designs, the link is in the description. It's super easy. We are going to get straight into this, but before we do, don't forget to smash and annihilate and just hit or even click that like button so that we can get this video to a million likes. Can you imagine if this video hit a million likes? Wow, that would be cool. Right, now back to reality. With the first design which says, Beer me, I just came out. I didn't come out, but that's what the design said. Yeah, it's... The colors are good, you know, the overall design, I think, is really bad. It's very lacking. I can't imagine anyone wearing it. Um, on top of that, black background, a black t-shirt or black hoodie works way better than white. It's a much more popular colour. Um, and I, I, um, I can imagine someone getting this in a t-shirt if it was like a couple of pounds as a joke. I can't imagine someone buying a hoodie, which is probably going to end up costing like $35. Um, it, I just can't. I can't imagine it. Um, I, I understand design, and it's it's a good phrase. I feel like if you ch if if you uh, um, if you change the design a bit, you change the t-shirt, you change it to a t-shirt, you made it a lot cheaper than probably what you're thinking about charging. Then I can imagine it's selling quite well. All right, let's move on. Mermaid part time. Nice. How much you get paid? Um, okay. I mean, this is a very niche audience, mermaid part-time. I wonder if mermaids wear clothes. Um, no, in all seriousness though, you, you're able to target, I don't even know what to say about this design, it's, 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 you're able to target people who like mermaids, I guess. The font is, is bold and in your face and I feel like it's not very pretty. I feel like you would want it to be a bit more pretty, especially on this kind of t-shirt or tank top. It's just a bit meh. You know, it's a bit, you can make it a lot better, like way, way better. Invasion 2020. Okay, um, well, the biggest problem with this is 2020 is over in a couple of weeks. So does that mean this t-shirt is just dead? Like, is it over? Is it, is it gonna, I mean, you, you're kind of giving yourself a very short period of time to get, to get sales. You're kind of giving yourself a very short time to get sales. And why Invasion 2020? What's happening? I mean, what happened? I mean, I guess Corona happened, so there's that, but we weren't invaded by aliens, so where's this coming from? I don't know. But look, if you want to change it to Invasion 2021, the actual overall design is not that bad. One thing I would suggest is to do that back, to do the um, grunge effect around the edge so that you can, um, you can slap it on a jumper or a hoodie or a t-shirt and it won't look like it's just been placed there in a bad way. It will look like it's like molded into the, into the actual article of clothing. So do that, right? And I've actually got a video on cutting out the edge and making a grunge. Oh no, I don't, but it's coming out really soon. Um, of cutting out the edge and making like a, a, a grungy look around the edge of a picture and putting it on a t-shirt and it just blends much, much better. But yeah, I mean, the, the design is good. I just, you, you should change the date and, and and I, just, I, don't, I don't see it being selling, but you never know. Right, enjoy nature. Um, okay, I'm assuming the design is just the enjoy nature with the sticker looking thing in the middle. If this was a sticker, I think it could do really, really well. Um, if it's a t-shirt, I think it would completely tank. I don't think it would, I don't think it would work at all. Um, I love the colors. I think it's really nice. I like the, 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 the gradients of colors. I like the graphic. If you drew this, it's, it's a, it's a cool drawing. It's it's really cool and I do like it. One thing I don't like is the font of Enjoy Nature. I feel like the font of Enjoy Nature could be a lot better. Um, it could be... It, it could also... If, if, if I don't think it's going around the circle properly. But not only that, I think it could just fit, right? You've got a very cartoonish kind of design going on here and then you've got a very uncartoonish font. So try and change the font, make it into a sticker, Maybe a t-shirt with the patch over here, but I can't imagine it being a big t-shirt with that design in the middle. I just, I mean, I can't see it, but you can give it a go. Next one, coffee, because adulting is hard. 
Okay, it's it's a uh, well, firstly it looks like this has been drawn and it's a really really good drawing. So well done for that. The phrase is really good coffee because adulting is hard. It it's a good it's a good phrase. It's a good design actually. I do like this design a lot. I like the colour you've gone for with, with the brown and I also like the creamy off-white colour you've gone for for the t-shirt because it all matches really really nicely. Um, I think there should be a tiny bit more spacing um, between coffee and the plate with the mug on it just because you've got that spacing underneath the hat uh, where the arms cut off you've got a bit of spacing there you should have that same spacing between coffee and the plate with the mug on it um, but other than that it's a really good design I like it a lot and I can imagine it's selling quite well. Captain Success, 30 points. Um, I think I remember the email being saying this was something about Fantasy League, um, a very successful large Fantasy League website um, and they haven't got any sales of their t-shirt. I think this is the reason why you haven't got any sales of, their t of your, of your t-shirt because it's a t-shirt with a t-shirt on it. I don't think I've ever seen, this is like the inception of t-shirts. In fact, if that t-shirt had this design on it, it would be t-shirts going on forever and ever and ever. Um, I don't really get the design. I think, I, I guess, you know, you're a captain, 30 points. I'm not, I'm not really into fantasy football so much, so it's very hard for me to judge this. Um, but in terms of just uh, uh, an artistic point of view, I don't think this is a good design. I can't imagine even someone who is a mad, a mad fan of, of fantasy football would get this either. So I feel like this, you should just completely redesign something. And if you feel like you can't redesign something, then pay someone on Fiverr to redesign it. Okay, next design. Land of the Free. Flipping heck. Really? Really? You think someone's going to buy this? Come on. Not only is this a real picture, right, which, and I've stressed before, real pictures on t-shirts look so weird. So, so weird, unless it's a box, and then you've had added a grunge effect to the box where it blends in, but this is just a picture of the world with, it looks like a, a naked woman underneath that flag, with the land of the free, and, and then the exclamation mark looks like it's a different font from the rest of it. I'm not even going to say anything, just no. No, so much no. Moving on. Apocalypse Meow, the horror, the horror. This is really good. Wow, I like that a lot. I mean, this is amazing, actually. This is really amazing. Did you draw this? Because if you drew this, then hats off. That's a really, really good, really good drawing of that cat. And if you didn't draw it, I mean, I hope that you edited it a bit. I mean, the eyes being red, I doubt that was um, original. Uh, but that's really cool. That's really, really cool. I mean, sorry, the eyes being red, I'm sure that was original to you. Um, amazing. I, I, I'm not massively into cats, so, and I haven't seen this trend, so maybe I'm, I've missed something, but it's a good cat t-shirt, and I think within the cat niche, it could sell quite well, especially in the, in, in the cat, you know, zombie apocalypse niche, it could sell quite well, and over Halloween, this probably would have sold quite well, but Obviously, we, we missed that boat, just by a, a bit. Moving on, Biden. Now, usually I say this isn't really relevant, but I guess it is still relevant because no one really knows what's happening. Is Who's president at this point? I mean, I know what people are saying, I know what the media is saying, but... Again, American politics, I do not want to get into. In terms of a design, I feel like this is not a very good design. Um, I think it looks like you've kind of just written Biden, you've, you've got the stars in the red line, and then you've just like slapped on Trump's hair. Like, I need to fit Trump in somewhere, let's slap on his hair. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it's a good design. Um, and especially on the white. Put it on black as well, because black is a lot more popular, it sells a bit better. Um, but I, you could do a lot better with, with, with this, right? with the hair and the Biden. The, I, I've seen a lot better. And that's the thing, you're going up against some serious competition within this niche, so you've really got to stand out. And fortunately, I don't think this stands out. May you never be too grown up to search the skies on Christmas Eve. That's really cute. That's really cute. I really like this. It kind of looks like a realistic moon, which doesn't really go with your very clip arty trees. Um, but to be honest, it looks okay. The only thing I would change is the colour of the of the wording and the font.
font maybe the font is good but it's very hard to see the wording uh, and you've got too many colors here you've got gray you've got the kind of creamy color of the moon you've got black you've got white you've got too many colors here you could definitely tidy this up and make it look a lot better that's what i'm saying it'd be cool if the moon the word was in the moon right and then you had the, the, the reindeer and, you know, Santa across the top of the moon and then you had the trees at the bottom of the moon, like the moon was the picture and everything it was inside. That could be quite cool. Get your emotions in motion. This is cool. This is very, very cool. Did you draw this? This is an amazing piece of artwork. I mean, that is a very cool piece of artwork. Everything is perfect. The fonts are good. The, the smiley is good, the fact that the well, half it's melting is good. I would move it up higher on the chest, but other than that, this is a fantastic design. I don't really know who you're targeting, um, I'm going to be honest, but I mean, it's still a good design nonetheless. And finally, we've got this one, Programmer. Noun, an organism that converts coffee into code. I'm assuming that's coffee or tea, usually late at night. A person you don't want to mess with. Um, Okay, so I get that you've gone with the colours because, I mean, in coding you have different colours for different things, right? So I get that. Um, I don't... I mean, this is meant to be a joke, right? I don't find it that funny, but it could be because I'm not a programmer. Maybe a programmer would look at this and be like, how oh, that's really funny, that relates directly to me. I personally don't see that it would. Um, and I feel like you could have come up with a much funnier noun. And I don't know if this is original to you or if you just copied someone else's and kind of changed it a bit. But I think you can come up with a much funnier definition of the word programmer. Um, and, and other than that, I mean, it's a good design. It's a good niche. You can do this with so many different things. Programmer, uh, photographer, snowboarder. Like, there's so many different niches you can put this kind of design on that could work. Just make sure you get a much funnier definition. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, that's it for today's episode. That was, that was a good episode. We had some really, really good designs. And in fact... In fact, let's pick, let's pick the favourite design of today's episode before we end. So, to me, let's have a quick look at all of them. To me, my favourite design, I want to say, is this one. I think it's, yep, yeah, this is my favourite design. It, I think it's so, so good. It just, the colours are perfect, the, the facial expression is perfect, the font is perfect. It's just completely, it's a brilliant design. So, well done. Um... I know who made this, but I can't remember your name off my heart. I've got a lot of submissions, but well done to you, because this is a very fantastic, very brilliant design. But yeah, that is it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought. Maybe tell me which one was your favorite in the comments. We should start doing that, right? Let me know in the comments which was your favorite. And as well as that, if you want to submit your own work, the link is in the description for you to be able to go and do that. And hopefully I'll see you in the next episode.